Welcome to the CrickBog Podcast's preview of all the teams for IPL 2023. Uh, in this video, I'll be looking at the five-time IPL champions, but the Wooden Spooners, the bottom place team from 2022, I couldn't believe it at the time, but they finished bottom last campaign. Can they bounce back? Of course they, they look can. like that. They look like they have an unbelievable batting lineup, but this, this video could be a decent little debate. I'm here with my Mumbai Indians fan and friend, Nash uh, what, are you, what are your initial thoughts about your team this season, mate? Um, no Jasprit Bumrah. How do you think the team will fare? Your initial thoughts? I think they'll definitely bounce back. I think they won't have that that much of a horrible season like they did last time. Um, mm -hmm. You know, they, 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 they have... This is their chance at redemption. Uh, they, yep. they are... I think they have a good... They have selected a good um, squad at the auction. Uh they have some in immense overseas talent. They have some really good yeah. uh, domestic talent. And I think I picked them as one of my top two teams uh, to head okay. before heading into the playoffs. And the, the playing 11 that I've gone with, it, it's, it was a difficult one, but the playing 11 that I've gone with to start with is Roy Sharma, Ishan Kishan at the top. That's mm -hmm. that's a really settled opening uh, yep. pair now i think they've they've done it for a few, uh, few years and i think yep um that'll be a really good one this year <coughs> they've they've got cameron green this year massive massive talent big superstar or on the verge of being a superstar in a in a, in a couple yeah. of years time that you know we we have seen his his t20 batting um you know in a, in a in a few games that he played uh for australia massive uh, talent with the ball as well so he can provide that fast bowling uh, you know not fast but medium fast bowling option oh he bowls in he bowls in the 140s yeah he's, he's quick yeah, yeah. uh yeah. tilak Warma at number four surya kumar yadav at number five is uh, surya kumar yadav at five too low that, and, and that's four. what I, that's what i was going to say is just that we'll, we'll know, touch on the, that the, yeah. the the four and five can be swapped yep. um tim david at number six Mm -hmm. Again, difficult because I had to leave uh, D. Wall previous out South African. Mm. Um, yes, and, and that'll depend on how Tim David goes. But I think I think they will start with Tim David. Uh, yeah. Ramandeep Singh at at number seven. Jofra yep. Archer number eight. Uh, big massive to have Jofra Archer back. Uh, uh, for the for the for the tournament, he's going yeah. to be he's going to prove to be a big uh, boost to the team. Rithik yep. Shokin at number number nine. Then you have Jason Berendorf as 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 the mm. as the Australian cover for him, and then Pius yeah. Chawla as as number eleven. Going with a similar team to you, uh, I agree with you that um, Cameron Green needs to bat up the order. I think they'll waste him at seven. Yep. I think they need him batting it towards the top. We saw that for Australia last year that he's very well suited to the top order. So Rohit and Ishan Kishan at uh, the, the opening combination, Cameron Green, Suru Kumiyadav, Tilak Farmer, and Tim David as a top six. That's a great top six. Yep. At the top six, they can they can smash 200-plus scores, particularly at the one Keddy. Raman Deep Singh, uh, Jofra Archer, of course, Hidrik Shokin. Um, and then I've got Jason Berendorf there and, and Piyush Chawla. They are looking also at Dilshan Madushanka or Mc, actually McKenny Clark. He's a young West Indian bowler to bring in to the squad as a replacement for Jara Richardson. So mm. there's options there for Mumbai should they bring in one of those two or someone else. Um, strengths, we'll touch on that. I mean, the top six, it goes without saying. Like you can't fit Tristan Stubbs at the moment or Deward Brevis. Those two are fantastic talents. Yeah. Hard to fit those in the side. It's an incredible top six. It's full of power, full of quality. Rohit Sharma is in need of runs in the IPL. I think he's had a few lean seasons. So if he can if he can have a good season, that makes them all the more stronger. Yep. What do you reckon? Yep, absolutely. I think, as I said, the top two uh, need to have a good start at the top. And you know, it's going to be, it's going to prove massive for Rohit Sharma. Um, you know, yeah. Just get that white ball. It, it doesn't matter if it's a T20, just get that white ball. And you know, uh, runs under his belt. Mm. Um, you know, it's it it can prove massive going into a World Cup this year, later this year. Even though it's a fifty over World Cup, I, I understand, but it's still white ball. You know, the the ball uh, in India in those conditions. Um, you know, the ball 
dust swing early on in the evening yeah. and then um you know having having that experience can prove really vital so having cameron green at number 3 is going to be is i think is going to be massive this year yeah he is going to my prediction is that he's going to have a massive season he's going to get a lot of runs for uh, i would say 400 plus and yeah, that's a big um, prediction and, and and couple that with Surya Kumar Yadav coming in at number four or five, I think that that will be that will prove really. That could that. be a great duo. And Tilak Varma had a great magnificent season last year. Um, yep. He's a terrific player too. And then Tim David, I think Mumbai regretted dropping him after one or two games at the start of last season. He came back towards the end and was dynamite. So, yep. look, look, of course, that batting lineup is is terrific. Jofra Archer back bowling. He's my pick for the purple cap. I don't know if he'll play every game though, because they might look to possibly manage him and he's got, you know, he's coming back from injury, but he has been bowling well for England, but let's see if he plays every game, but I think he'll, I think he'll win the purple cap. He's just, he's that good. Um, Now you've got Mumbai needs to do very well this season. Talk to me about their bowling attack. And like, yeah. Now when, I'll lead you into this because when Mumbai Indians have won in the past over the years, I think a very, very strong bowling attack has underpinned that. They've always had the good batting, but it's been the bowling attack where even last season they had Bumrah, but they lacked support for him and they struggled. He's not there this year. They've won a lot of games over the years because they've got two overs left for Bumrah to, to count on in the final few overs. They've got Jofra Archer this year. He's a magnificent bowler. Don't get me wrong. Does he have enough support? Is there enough meat on the bone when it comes to the Mumbai Indians bowling attack to finish in the top four of a very competitive league? Look, I think you you make a fair point. I I get your point. Um, But I think having, like I said with MS Dhoni as well, having that experienced skipper, experienced leader um, within the team does help mm. the others other other players it, it and, and that's that's it literally does. their job so having Rohit Sharma there at the at the top you know if he Rohit Sharma starts performing you know starts getting into the runs that that will rub that's, off that's on, that's on fine the other, other, absolutely other players as well and and so can, can they defend can they defend totals though? And, and that's where I'm is coming the, at is there so that's where I'm coming at and, th- and, and mm. I think Rohit Sharma does know how to get the best of out of his players as well um, we have seen him do that time and again in the in in the in the last few years, and and Cameron Green providing that extra support with the with the fast bowler, like you said, he bowls at 140, can get up to 145. He's still times. he's still raw in T20, so yep. he's been quite expensive yep. in T20 cricket to date. Yeah, as good as but he I think, is, I, I I love Cam Green, but he's expensive. And 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 we have seen weird things happen in IPL, haven't we? Like we have yeah. seen Rahul yeah. Tewatia score buttload of runs. Um, yeah. And and finish games off. So I think that's 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 what I'm banking on. And and not having Richardson there is, is going to hurt. But I think yes. um uh having that having having someone like Jason Burndoff and, and he's not he's a he he's experienced. Don't get me wrong. Like Jason Burndoff, Burndoff is quality. Yeah, he is yeah. quality and, and we have seen him in Big Bash as well. So <laughs> it'll be only a matter of time when he hopefully he transfers that form into into the IPL and does the job. Yeah, yeah. Look, I mean, they've also got Kuma Kartikya Singh. Yeah. Um, he's a very, very good spinner. I think he might probably start as well. I know we missed him in the possible playing eleven, but he's got great variations with the ball, so they might look to play him throughout as well. Um, but for me, for Mumbai, I just look at that bowling attack, and it just reminds me of RCB over the years. Great batting, not enough depth in the bowling, and yeah. as we've seen in the past, that doesn't win you titles. You've got to have a little bit more depth in your bowling attack. So, I mean, Jofra Archer's great, but where's the support? And I also look at maybe Raman Deep Singh has got talent, but, mm. you know, him in the number seven slot is probably a question for Mumbai to answer. Maybe do they put Cameron Green there? I wouldn't personally, but they might put Cameron Green there to, to try fill a gap there, to have someone there as batting cover. But, yeah, I think they've got potential to concede big totals. I don't know if you agree with me. I just don't think there's enough depth in their bowling. They've got great batting, but just the bowling is a worry for me. That's why I've got them missing the playoffs this yeah, season. Yeah, I, I, I get your point as well. And, and I do have that sort of reservation as well. Mm. Um, and, and I may be speaking emotionally uh, here, but I think they will finish in the top two. 
uh, I might With, be I might be uh, proven wrong um, massively, but but is know, there enough? Is there enough? Like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't just, know. But I'll I'll say that. Yeah, they'll, it's they'll it's finished. They could look not look, first. Anything's possible. Anything's possible. If they finish in the top two, um, they would they would have to play out of their skins. I think to do it because they could score two twenty but concede it too. Yep, that's my fear. That's my fear. There's just a little bit of inexperience in that attack. You look at the Mumbai. They've had Jasprit Bumra there. They've got Jofra Archer as that key bowler. But remember that that Jasprit Bumra's had quality around him too over the years. Whether it's Lassif Malinga, whether it's Trent Bolt, uh, whether it's even the spinners of Rahul Chaha. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yep, the Pan yep. the Pandya brothers were there. Karan Pollard was there offering bowling. It just looks thin this time around. It really yep. does. And that was the case last season too. You talk about Rohit as the leader. He's a great captain, but they didn't have enough depth in their bowling attack. And that's why they finished bottom last season. And I, I just so what's, fear, what's your pick? I, I've, I've got them in at eighth spot. I know that's very low for a team like Mumbai. I think they'll have a better season than last year. They've got great batting, but again, just the bowling, um, you know, and yeah, uh, that's my fear. That's my fear, mate. Interesting, interesting. Um, yeah, so uh, so far, you if I'm got... wrong, if I'm wrong, please people go easy on me because I know I can easily be wrong, but I'm looking at it as bowlers win you tournaments, and you need to be able to defend your scores when you know when you have a great batting lineup. We had yeah. a, the issue with RCB they've had over the years is they had great batting, De Villiers, Gale, Coley, you name it, but they just didn't have enough bowling to defend those scores. Oh, RCB I just see that that's a, bit... that's a different kind of form, so we don't need to go there now. Um, but that, it's but a yeah, I think, I think I, you I make have. a fair point. I get your point, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. as I said, I'm more of an this is more of an emotional pick for me. It but, is. Um, it is. But yeah, let's. <laughs> I'll, I'll pick them. I've fair still enough. not gone number one, so I've I've gone in the second spot in the ladder. So let's see what happens. Good luck. Good luck to you and the Mumbai Indian fans. And look, I love seeing the Mumbai Indians do well. They're a fantastic franchise, the most successful. And uh, we'll see how they go this season. So that was our preview of the Mumbai Indians. Please let us know. Who do you agree with, myself or Nash? Um, do you think they'll finish in between second and eighth? You know, uh, you know, we've gone extreme ends of the table. But yeah, we'll see how they go this season. They're definitely going to be exciting to watch no doubt about it with that batting lineup so look forward to it thanks nash and thanks Thank to you. all the viewers and the listeners